Hello my little moons, welcome to our little London vlog. It's gonna be like a mini vlog because we're only here today and tomorrow. Um, but what's the real reason we're here? We're gonna go see Machine Gun Kelly play at the Royal Albert Hall. Yeah, uh, we've come to see MGK again. Um, we went to see him in Birmingham in October and he's doing one night only in London tonight, so that's what we've come for. But we're gonna do a little touristy stuff as well. So we're at the palace right now. And we're just gonna have, we've just got here, we've got the coach here this morning. And we're just gonna have a little wander around before the gig and be a tourist for a bit. So when we got here, we couldn't actually check into our hotel, but we can now, so we're gonna walk to the hotel, but it means that we have to walk through Knightsbridge. And I don't know how much you know about London, but it's a very posh part of London, lots of rich, wealthy people. And we're about to walk through looking like this, like heavily tattooed. Last time we came, we got judged so bad and I have so many more tattoos now, so pray for us. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the hotel. I don't want to be a Karen because you get what you pay for. I have traveled the world and I've definitely stayed in worse. And I know that when you book a two star hotel and you pay 70 pound for London, you're not getting the Ritz Carlton. And I knew that going into this, but we're literally in the basement of some hotel like the room is so small but wait till you see the view i don't think you're ready for this Literally. right so the view is the best thing oh yeah the view so mm. you can see lovely things in london there's so many nice views to see but i think we've got the best because we've got like an ensuite shed <sighs> so this is our ensuite shed um we do have a window which is nice for a basement room but we can't open it because all the workers sit out here smoking yeah. and i don't really want them watching me through the window so we've got the window closed yeah. also captain six foot one over here like this room is not very big like the door is there and then you've got the bed here and then luckily we do have an ensuite bathroom but that's tiny as well yeah. what a it's a lovely view. Uh, you see there's bin bags outside to have a look at. There's a ladder, there's a saw around here. I think there's a mattress up on there. <laughs> like the remnants of one. Yeah, so <laughs> cracking views. So 10 out of 10. But, you know, you, you pay for what you get really. Yeah, 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 literally. I was never expected to be in the basement. Yeah, no, I thought so as well. Yeah, um, we just laugh about it. We just think it's funny. Like I said, we've definitely stayed in worse Paris. <laughs> But anyway, our Paris hotel was absolutely awful. But anyway, I'm not going to be a Karen about it. Like, I'm not going to complain because, you know, you get what you pay for. But, wow. Well. <laughs> um, yeah, we're staying in a basement. It's one night, though, so it'll be fine. Yeah, we're only here for one night. It's really not that deep, so we're just going to get ready. We're going to be going out for most of it anyway, and we'll be leaving in the morning. So, yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, so it's a little while later now, uh, we went to sleep for a bit because we were really tired but yeah we're all ready for the gig now so do I do a grand outfit reveal again? Yeah sure. Hey show me your outfit. <laughs> the bathroom's the best lighting we have. <laughs> You're too tall for this. I don't know, I'm not banging into everything. <laughs> and here's Luna's. So this is my top from Primark, skirts from Shein. I'm just wearing Vans because I couldn't pack two pairs of shoes. So this is my outfit for the night. So we're currently trying to queue for uh, Pizza Express. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to take Luna on a little date night because you know, it's a special, special night anyway. Um, we're in a bit of a queue right now. I didn't expect there to be one, but obviously it's the capital city. Uh, that's my bad, but we're going to try and get in, get some pizza before we go to the gig. We've got a bit of time, so we should be alright. Right, so we made it into Pizza Express, as you can see, obviously we're in here. Um, and we've just ordered, we've got the uh, vegan menu. Um, they fire it off here, like we sat down, they were like, what do you want? Understandably, in a nice way, like, uh, they want to get people in, out, because there is a queue by the door already. Uh, but yeah, literally, they were like, what drinks can I get you? What food do you want? I'm like, I've been here two minutes, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I've literally just took my coat off. I don't know what's going on, but we're in, we've ordered, uh, and it's, it's going to be good. Yeah. Seeing as it's Dakota's treat, um, I got myself a cornstar martini, and he's got himself a, an alcohol free Peroni. But uh, yeah, the pizza's getting made over here. Um, Dakota got a, like an American hot pizza. I got a garlic bread and some dough balls. So we'll show you our lovely food when it comes. I can't show both of us at the same time because we're opposite the table to each other. But yeah, I'll show you the food when it comes. So our drinks arrived. I got my porn star martini with the little shot of Prosecco. She poured that beer like it was a Coke. Like she literally just poured it in like this. So we're just waiting for that to go down before it's drinkable. But yeah. Are you ready for food? I am. Same. So the food arrived and I got really excited and I've already eaten all my dough balls. But I've got my dough balls, my garlic bread, I've got we got American hot pizza. How's your pizza? Yeah, it's really good. It's got vegan cheese on it and like vegan pepperoni. It's really, really nice. I got it like really, really hot because I like everything spicy. Yeah, yeah. So I got like the hot chilies on it. Oh, there's a chili oil on it and stuff. Yeah, it looks really nice. So really, really good. we've got our food, we're gonna tuck in and then it's gig time. Let's go. How was your pizza express? It was delicious. I really liked it. It was a really good pizza. And yeah, yeah, it was really nice. How was yours? Yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Hold on. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. And we're just like running to the venue now to make sure we don't miss the start of it because there's no support, it's just him. So we're walking to the venue now. Are you excited for the gig? Yeah, um, super stoked to see the and Kelly again. Yeah, he killed it in Birmingham, so I'm really, really excited to see him again. Yeah, it's gonna be good, let's go. We're in the queue. It's moving quite fast though, so hopefully we'll be in soon. So, gig footage pending. It's a really cool venue. I've never been in the Albert Hall. Like you can see behind me, like it's absolutely massive. massive. So let's go.
a bitch, man. If you sit the introductions, I'm introverted, I don't want your attention. Stand on whatever I say, I'll see into your face, I don't do it in bitches. I believe God in the public through hell, so that I can learn me a lesson. I was 11, sharing a bed with my dad, I didn't have a bed, but in a recession. Six of us in the fourth floor, I didn't have land, but everything's dancing. Hello, friends. So. We are walking back from the gig now. We did wait outside for him for a little bit, but he didn't come, so we're going home now. But it was such a good gig. When we get back to the hotel, I'll tell you all about it because I have so much to talk about. Oh my God, I was not expecting half of the stuff to happen that did. Obviously, you've probably seen the footage of it now, um, but yeah, we'll have a proper debrief when we get back to the hotel. But did you have a good time? I had a really good time. Yeah, it was so good, but we'll talk about it properly when we get back because the lighting is awful. Hello, my little moons. So we're back at the hotel. I know this setup looks weird. We are filming in the bathroom because the lighting is awful in there and it makes my phone look like an iPhone 4. The lighting's really good in here. There is a fan, but I'm sure it'll be fine. But we're going to talk about the gig properly because I have so much to say. So, Machine Gun Kelly at the Royal Albert Hall. What do you think? Yeah, I thought it was really, really good. So we've never been to the Royal Albert Hall no. before, and it's massive. Yeah. Like, when you get inside, it's just, it's so tall, and there's so many, like, seating areas all the way around. Obviously, it's a theatre, that is, usually, but it's it's so big, and it, it's so good in there, actually. Yeah. Like, it sounds so good. Like, he came out to Pressure, which is his brand new song that he's just brought out. So we were the first people to hear that live, which was really cool. And then obviously you've seen all the footage from the gig, but I signed up for an MGK gig, that's what I thought I was getting. You know, maybe thought I might get a bit of young blood thrown in there, potentially. Completely left field with me when Halsey came out. And I thought, oh right, okay, that's the guest, that's the guest for this evening. Cool. Then the next thing, out comes James Arthur. I mean, look at us. You wouldn't have us down for James Arthur, would you, yeah. let's be honest. But it's just random, wasn't it? Yeah, just James yeah. Arthur. It was like, yeah, and here's my friend James Arthur doing a song <laughs> just randomly. I thought you here you go, you might know this one. Like it was it was so random, but it was it was good though, it was just completely <laughs> different. Then he then he played just like a a snippet of let's do the gorillas, let's start covering that. Yeah. It was so random, but it was like a proper cool gig though. One thing I really liked about it is he did like a mixture of pop punk songs rap songs, slower, sadder songs, happy, more jumpy songs, like there was a proper mix bag in there about everything, like we had guest artists, we had like covers and it was literally just so good, like probably, like, that's the third time I've seen MGK and it was the best one out of the lot and um, I'm an OG MGK fan, I've liked him since like 2012 and I don't care what people say, I absolutely love him and I think he's pleased me. And yeah, I got so much more footage than I thought I was gonna get because it was such a good gig. Um, so yeah, sorry if the footage was bored you today, I do apologize. But I'm so happy I vlogged it because it was just such a monumental gig. It was absolutely incredible and I couldn't fault it and I've literally had the best time. Have you? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was so good. Yeah, we both had the best time. And good morning, my little moons. So it's the next day now. Um, we're back to the iced coffees in the vlog again. For the first time ever in my life, they spelt my name right on a Starbucks cup, so I might treasure this forever. What did you get for breakfast? So, I didn't know, but they actually have Paul in the UK. So I've only ever had Paul in France. So obviously in the, uh, the last France vlog, uh, I went to Paul. It's really good, they do a vegan croissant. I had one of those, and I've just got a black coffee as well. So, yeah. Yeah, every time we go to France, he always gets to Paul and he gets really excited about it, so we saw it. But I'm just having... I don't even expect to explain. Uh, I'm having my caramel ice latte with oat milk, because this is what I do. So we've got our coffee, we've got our breakfast, and we're just going to go and explore some more London before we go home at 6 o'clock. We're in Harrods. Look at the lift.
we just saw a really cool parade. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't out, out of nowhere. Yeah. Wasn't part of the agenda for today, but we were just walking back towards where we needed to go, and there was just a parade going on. So apparently, it's for, it's a rehearsal for the king's birthday. Apparently. Yeah. Honestly, I've never seen that many horses in my life, but crazy. Yeah. <laughs> What's the plan now? I think we're gonna go get some food, yeah, aren't food, we? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna get some food. It's lunchtime, we're hungry, and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Wherever. <laughs> We found this really cool vegan place uh, near Victoria, um, so I'm going to show you the food we got because it looks so good, hold on. So we've got coleslaw, we've got buffalo nuggets, we've got, I've got a buffalo burger, you've got a neat burger. So basically it's all vegan, 100%. Um, what's in that one? These are like loaded fries, I da, think. Da, da, da. <laughs> Get ready for this. Whoa. Yeah, so we got some loaded fries in that one, and what's in that one? Again, something uh, special. <laughs> Cheesy fries. Yeah, so we got cheesy chips, loaded chips, two burgers, some coleslaw, and some nuggets. Are you excited? Yeah, we're probably going to be in a food coma. <laughs> not going to be much walking. We're probably going to be stuffed to bursting after this, but stay tuned for an update on how nice it actually is because I'm so excited to eat this. Let's go. So we're just about to leave the restaurant. How was your food? Yeah, it was really, really nice. I'm very full right now. Yeah, same. It was, oh, it was amazing. It was so nice. Uh, this isn't sponsored or anything, but it's right by uh, London Victoria Coach Station. If you just walk down, you'll see it. Um, highly recommend it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, like, absolute food coma. And I'm going to walk around London with a food coma now. So that'll be fun. But yeah, honestly, can't recommend enough. It was really, really nice. Really, really good stuff. Good vegan junk food. Yeah, I love vegan junk food. We just went to Westminster Cathedral and I just want to say thank you because we we go to cathedrals all over the world, nobody talks to us and everyone ignores us because of what we look like. We went in there and some lovely lady came over and started telling us all about the cathedral. She knew so much about it. It was really informative and it was great and I just appreciate not actually being judged for once and that was a really nice experience, wasn't it? Also. Can you tell that I'm on a step? <laughs> Off we go. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, like, very nice cathedral and very nice service in there as well. So, we've come to see... Big Ben. There he is. Do you want to tell them what just happened? Right, so Westminster Abbey is just basically behind uh, here. And literally, we were going to go in, see what it's like. Went to the door, see how much it is. Like, I'm all for tourism and stuff and like making money, but it costs £27 to get in. £27 for a ticket is just, it's ludicrous. Like, I think that would be the most I'd ever pay to get into like anywhere. You could get like a theme park ticket for £27. Uh, I'll have to face this way because the sun's in my eyes like really bad, but yeah, £27 each to get in a Westminster, Westminster Abbey, and uh, no, I'm alright, thank you. I've seen it on the TV, yeah. alright, we've been outside of it. If no, I pan this it. way, it's there. there it is, behind us, so the Westminster Abbey is there, Big Ben's just behind us here, it's a lovely day in London, but I'll admire it from the outside because I'm not paying. The outside's the, free. Yeah. <laughs> It's nearly £60 for two of us to go in, so no thank you, we'll just enjoy it from the outside. Okay, so it's a really hot day in London today. Grateful for the good weather though, because when you live in England it's not a guarantee. But 
If you know me, you'll know that there's nothing I love more than a slush and I will go to the end of the earth to get one. We're currently outside the London Eye and just, where is it? Just over there, there's a little like frozen Fanta stall. So it's frozen Fanta, I got a raspberry one and... I got a Coca-Cola one, so it's yeah. frozen Coca-Cola, which is really cool. Yeah, they had like raspberry, strawberry, uh, like a lemonade, um, raspberry, cola, like loads of different flavours. Um, and I absolutely love a slush and I can't turn them down no matter how hard I try. So we've got slushes, hopefully we can cool down a bit. We're hiding in the shade at the minute because we've got problems. Um, I'm hiding in the shade, but we were going to go on the London Eye and since Covid, everything's gone up so much. It's absolutely shocking, like I can't believe it. So. We're going to bail on that and we're just going to sit in the shade with a slush and just enjoy the nice weather instead. Update, by the way, in case anyone cares, the slush is absolutely banging. How's yours? It's really nice, yeah. Mm. So our journey is coming to an end now. We've come back to the coach station because it's almost time to go home. So the last bit you would have seen is us walking through the park and we've come back to the station now. It's really hard to film in certain places because it's so loud and it's so busy, but we're just waiting for the coach home now. Our adventure's coming to an end. Um, and yeah, have you had a good time? Yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, yeah really I've had, enjoyed a, it. had a great little whistle stop tour of London. <laughs> But yeah, um, time for a fun coach journey home. Yeah, ready? another five hours. <laughs> yeah, hopefully my phone doesn't die because I'm on like 35%. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, see you soon. See you soon. So we're on the bus now. We're going to be making our way home soon and it's going to get dark soon. And then when we get home, we're going to pick the dog up and go home. Nothing exciting is going to happen from here. <laughs> so I'm just going to call the vlog quits here. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had the best time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Peace. Bye.